Have you ever heard of lumpy skin disease? This infectious viral disease primarily affects cattle and is caused by the lumpy skin disease virus or LSDV for short. Interestingly, this virus shares its lineage with some well-known adversaries of human health like the smallpox and monkeypox viruses. However, there's a fundamental difference. LSDV is not a zoonotic virus, meaning it cannot spread to humans. This disease makes its presence known in cattle populations through large, lumpy nodules on the skin, hence its descriptive name. In recent years, we've seen its geographical footprint expand. Initially endemic in most of Africa, parts of the Middle East and Turkey, LSD has been on the move. Since 2015, it has spread to numerous countries in Asia, making it a growing concern for cattle farmers and the livestock industry. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the transmission, symptoms, and preventative measures for this disease. You might wonder, how does this disease spread? Well, let's dive right in. Lumpy skin disease, or LSD, is primarily transmitted by blood-feeding insects. We're talking about certain species of flies, mosquitoes, or ticks. These tiny creatures, often unnoticed, play a crucial role in spreading this menacing disease. Now picture this, an infected cow, unbeknownst to the farmer, is shedding the LSD virus through its oral and nasal secretions. These secretions can easily contaminate common feeding and water troughs, creating a potential health hazard for the entire herd. Flies or mosquitoes that feed on the infected animal can readily pick up the virus and then transmit it to other animals in the herd. But it's not just these flying vectors that we need to worry about, the disease can also spread through direct contact with infected animals or indirectly through contaminated fodder and water. This means that an animal doesn't necessarily need to be bitten by an infected fly to contract the disease. Simply sharing a water trough or grazing on the same patch of land can be enough to spread the virus. So, it's not just about the direct contact, but also about the environment in which the cattle live. A comprehensive understanding of these transmission dynamics is crucial in preventing the spread of lumpy skin disease and protecting our livestock. What does this disease look like in cattle, you might ask? Well, lumpy skin disease, or LSD, is aptly named for its most prominent symptom, the development of large nodules or lumps on the skin of the infected animal. These lumps are actually swollen lymph nodes, a clear sign that the animal's body is fighting off an infection. These cutaneous nodules, which can be anywhere from 2 to 5 centimeters in diameter, often appear on the cattle's head, neck, limbs, udder, genitalia, and perineum. As the disease progresses, these nodules may rupture, turning into painful ulcers before finally developing into scabs over the skin. However, these lumps are just the tip of the iceberg. Infected cattle may also experience a high fever, a sharp drop in milk yield, and a discharge from the eyes and nose. Salivation, loss of appetite, and depression are also common symptoms of the disease. One of the more devastating effects of LSD is the damage it does to the animal's hide. The nodules and subsequent scabs can cause severe damage, rendering the hide virtually useless for leather production. This coupled with the sharp decrease in milk yield, can have serious economic implications for farmers and the dairy industry as a whole. LSD can also lead to emaciation or thinness and weakness in animals. It can cause infertility and even abortions, adding to the reproductive losses associated with the disease. Perhaps the most concerning symptom of all is that LSD can lead to death, especially in animals that have not previously been exposed to the virus or have low immunity. This underlines the importance of early detection and preventative measures to control the spread of the disease. In terms of the animals it affects, LSD is highly host-specific. It primarily targets cows, but buffalo can also be infected. However, the morbidity rate, or the rate at which the disease occurs, is significantly lower in buffalo than in cows. Although it primarily affects cows, buffalo can also be infected, albeit at a lower rate. Is there a cure for lumpy skin disease? This is a question that might be echoing in your minds. The answer is, unfortunately, no. Lumpy skin disease, or LSD, does not have a direct antiviral treatment, but don't let this dishearten you because managing the disease is not impossible. When an animal is infected with LSD, the primary course of action involves supportive care. This means we are not directly attacking the virus, but instead helping the animal cope with the symptoms caused by the disease. This supportive care includes the use of antibiotics, painkillers, and wound care sprays. 
Antibiotics are used to prevent secondary bacterial infections that can arise due to the skin lesions. They play a pivotal role in reducing complications and aiding the recovery of the animal. Painkillers, on the other hand, are administered to alleviate the discomfort and pain caused by the nodules and ulcers. They help in maintaining the overall well-being of the animal during the course of the disease. Wound care sprays come into the picture when we talk about the skin nodules that are characteristic of LSD. These nodules can break open to form ulcers, leaving the skin vulnerable to further infections. Wound care sprays help in keeping these areas clean and promote healing. Now you might be thinking, if there's no cure, how do we stop the disease from spreading? Here's where vaccines come into play. Vaccines are used to control disease transmission. They work by preparing the animal's immune system to fight the disease-causing virus, thus reducing the chances of an outbreak. Vaccination campaigns are often carried out in regions where LSD is prevalent, and they have proven to be effective in controlling the spread of the disease. However, vaccination alone is not enough. Maintaining a clean environment for the cattle is equally important. Good hygiene practices can significantly reduce the risk of disease transmission. This includes keeping feeding and watering troughs clean, regularly disinfecting the cattle housing, and implementing effective vector control strategies. So prevention through vaccination and maintaining a clean environment for the cattle are the best strategies against lumpy skin disease. That's a brief overview of lumpy skin disease. We've delved into its nature, a viral disease affecting cattle, not transmittable to humans. It's primarily spread by blood feeding insects or through contaminated sharing spaces. The symptoms are visible lumps, fever, decreased milk yield, and in severe cases, death. Though there's no direct antiviral treatment, supportive care can alleviate symptoms. Vaccines play a crucial role in controlling transmission. Stay vigilant, stay informed, and let's work together to prevent the spread of this disease.